Following up on our last video, we're continuing the plan of comparing complete sets of models from a single manufacturer, this time focusing in on Jules, another company that we respect, who builds urban-oriented models with a focus on simple and sturdy engineering that maximizes longevity. In this video then, we'll cover all four of Jules' models in terms of comfort characteristics, mechanics, and performance as they apply to differences in lifestyle and environment so that you can find the model that will work best for you. Before we get started, I'd just like to say that we don't sell strollers, use affiliate links, or engage in any form of paid advertising whatsoever, and that our opinions are based on a decade's experience of repairing strollers. So let's get going then, beginning with the air. The air folds down to 53.5 by 45 by 21.5 centimeters and weighs 6 kilos. It can take 18 kilos of weight in the seat and 5 kilos in the Enderslung shopping basket. The air is an ultra compact, capable of folding down with one hand and one step to dimensions that will be cabin luggage acceptable to the majority of airlines. And among strollers of this type, one hand folding, airline acceptable ultra compacts, it is my top pick, due to a degree of horizontal sturdiness in the chassis generally not present on competing models. In addition to this, the Air also has a couple of quite nice comfort characteristics, in the form of a shoulder strap for easier carrying, and a shopping basket whose lip protrudes off the back end, such as to make it more accessible. Please note with this model that I would highly recommend regarding the adjustable leg rest, available as an extra accessory, as a necessary purchase, as it's cheap, well designed, and will significantly improve child comfort without really making the model heavier or more unwieldy. As far as why one might choose the Air from among the rest of Jules' models, in my opinion, this stroller is predominantly useful as a dedicated travel or short trip model, and will be insufficient as a main, all-day, everyday stroller for the vast majority of people, both because its small wheels and slider build make it really incapable to drive over anything other than smooth, well-maintained pavement and indoor environments, but also because wear will naturally be accelerated if this is your only stroller, and despite the model's decent engineering, we're still talking about a more fragile build than one gets with a larger model. If, however, you are looking at the Air because you need something small for daily use, then this next model has a good chance of being perfect for you. The Hub Plus folds down to 31 by 53 by 63 centimeters and weighs 11 kilos. It can take up to 22 kilos in the seat and 5 kilos in the underslung shopping basket. Overall, the Hub Plus is my favorite stroller from Jules, not because its engineering is necessarily better than on their other strollers, but rather because, as a reversible seat model, within its size and weight class, it not only outperforms a lot of the rest of the market for longevity and guarantee, as pretty much all of Jules' models do, but it also competes in relation to terrain capability, which most Jules models unfortunately don't. Unlike the Air then, the Hub Plus is built for all-day, everyday use and offers a variety of qualities that the Air lacks. In particular, it's more spacious, reversible seat and suspension and wheel size strong and large enough to allow it to properly tackle light off-road terrain, like gravel, smoother parks, or poor maintained pavement. And in comparison to Jules' larger models, though the Hub Plus's overall structure might be seen as a downsized version of the next model we'll be covering, the Day Plus, in other respects, the model includes a number of features that harmonize amazingly well with its smaller size, including an adjustable seat frame, which, in addition to providing more options for child comfort, also allows a stroller to fold down with the seat forward or reversed into a single self-standing package, and a shoulder strap, allowing the compact package to be carried relatively easily when you need to. With regards to whether this is the right Jules model for you, I would say that though the Hub Plus's seat offers a little more than the Air's, there's still an age span factor to consider, in that the model will be most ideal for children under 2.5 or 3. And there's also terrain to consider as well, of course, in that the model will struggle in rougher environments. Overall, the Hub Plus will be most ideal for people needing an all-day, everyday stroller, but for whom folding, carrying, and storage are key concerns. In the end then, as awesome as the Hub Plus is, it's still not exactly a full-size stroller and will be inferior to larger models on several fronts. And if you then are looking for something full-sized, you might consider the next model up, the Day Plus, which clocks in at 12.5 kilos and folds down to 95 by 58 by 42 centimeters with the seat attached. It can take up to 22 kilos in the seat and five kilos in the underslung shopping basket. The Day Plus is a mid-size model, though note that within this class, it's a tad on the heavy side, and as with the general trend of Jules Engineering, is built sturdily and with an emphasis on simplicity, including only those extra features that you really need, in the interest of avoiding superfluous mechanical complexity that might lead to problems down the road. Note that, in contrast to the Hub, the Day Plus has a bucket seat, meaning that the position of the seat back can't be altered in relation to the baseboard, and the seat is both larger, increasing the age span for maximum comfort by up to a year in my opinion, and also sits higher, giving you better access to your child and also making the larger shopping basket more accessible. The terrain capabilities and chassis strength are also better, though still not quite enough to make the model usable over really rougher off-road conditions. 
As far as choosing the Day Plus over other Jules models goes, this is the one to go for if you are looking for a full-size reversible seat model for all day everyday use and will fit particularly well for people who need to use their stroller for longer stretches without a car, where its increased storage capacity and incredibly sturdy build will give you a real workhorse, unlikely to develop mechanical problems over time. Last up for Jules is the Geo 2, the elephant of the group. The Geo 2 weighs in at 14.3 kilos and folds down to 99 by 60 by 55 centimeters. It can carry 22 kilos in the seat and 10 kilos in the underslung shopping basket. Like the rest of the Jules line, the Geo 2 is designed to be incredibly strong, and with its increased size comes even better storage capacity, with the nifty feature of being able to remove the shopping basket as a sort of picnic basket, and as you probably already know, also has the ability to function as a rear-loading tandem model for two children. As far as its driving capabilities are concerned, the Geo 2 underperforms in comparison to the larger tandem market, both due to smaller than average front wheels and limited suspension. And the only real driving advantage I would give the Geo 2 over the rest of Jules' models is that it will handle terrain on par with the rougher cobblestones of older European cities better than the Day Plus will. That being said, even though the basic model as used for one child is unimpressive versus a lot of similar models, the fact that it is rear loading for two children does mean that it will have a better center of balance than front loading tandem models, which gives it an advantage for both tipping and steering, though of course at the expense of basket space. In general then, since the model is larger and heavier than the Day Plus, but does not offer significantly better terrain capability, the only real reason for choosing it over other Jules models in my opinion would be if you need a model for two children, and in this case, when considering the wider market, my preference personally still sits more with side-by-side -side than tandem models. But that being said, however, the sheer longevity of the Geo 2 is definitely worth weighing into your decision as well, and provided you have use for some of the Geo 2's other characteristics and have no real intention of taking the stroller off-road, then the model should still be considered in my opinion simply for the fact that it's likely to last a long time. In any case, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about any of these models, we have standalone reviews for each of them, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.